This is Inside Badger Football with head coach Trey Shucker. Inside Badger Football is brought to you by Bell Wealth Services, Welch Funeral Home, Wingfield Properties, Southern Bancorp, Southwest Sporting Goods, Turner, Rogers, Manning, and Plyler, Taylor King Law, Trinity Temple Assembly of God, Doctors Rob and Gary Rucker, Eccles, Thompson, and Kneebone CPA, South Central Connect, Java Primo, Southwest Auto Group, R and T Dixon Enterprises, Ludwig's Bakery, the Law Offices of Gina White, Patterson Federal Credit Union, Batson Signs, Print Mania, Scott Bird DDS, Sexton Law Firm, Chad Kesterson Shelter Insurance, Chicken Express, Pediatrics Plus, and Providence Veterinary Care. The host of Inside Badger Football is Cooper Dar. Welcome back to Inside Badger Football. Joining me, as always, head coach of Arkadelphia Badgers, Trey Shucker. Good to see you, coach. Always good to see you. Yes, sir. Well, it is Has we played Haskell Harmony Grove this past week. Another conference game down in the books as a as a win. That is huge for the program, huge for later on, but obviously from week to week is the most important game. Yeah. Uh, but I want to talk about a little bit of Haskell Harmony Grove. Obviously, another dominating victory for the Badgers. Uh, looking really good in conference right now. Let's talk about a little bit about the game, then we'll dive a little bit deeper. Okay, yeah. Uh, you know, it was a good home home victory for our guys. Uh, one in all three phases that we felt like. Um, you know, just really, really good performance overall and on senior night. And so that was another aspect of, of the whole game. Um, you know, it's not our last home game, but uh, we did have senior night a little bit early this year, and it, we were able to recognize all the seniors, and uh, all of them played really well. So just an exciting senior night overall. Uh, big Badger victory. That's right. You mentioned a lot of your seniors played well. They got the first couple of touchdowns yeah. were seniors, so that's huge. Uh, I love that for them, uh, just to have a senior night that is so special for them. But the entire team did so well, all the way from the 10th graders all the way up to the 12th graders. Yeah, so. and we, we were able to get some, the, some of the next guys in, yeah. and any time that we're able to do that, it's always huge for us. Uh, it's just those extra reps that those guys get, those uh, – just the experience, uh, Friday night experience playing under the lights, playing in front of a big crowd, um, going out there and showing their skills and what they practice every week and, and you know, just allowing those guys to, to, guys to progress um, through those game reps is huge. And, you know, we've been able to do that quite a bit this season. Um, and, you know, that's something that's not guaranteed. You know, it, it's just something that we earn. Uh, the first group goes out there and gets it done where the next guys are able to go on and, and take care of business the same way. From a from a fan's perspective, I get to see all the games and all mm. the stuff. It's really cool to see over all the games that we've played this year, just how better and better each phase of the game is getting offense, defense, special teams. We had a blocked punt this past yeah. week. Like, that is huge. That is going to be – if they can continue to keep doing that, you're right. going to win a lot of football games here in the near future. Yeah, and it's, you know – there's a lot of confidence building with through right. some of those stuff. You know, if you've never blocked a punt, you know, it's kind of one of those things about like, what does it yeah. feel like? How does right. it get done? Um, you know, just experiencing that, our kids uh, having executed that, you know, it's big for our, our whole scheme of, of our, you know, punt block, but it, then it goes right into other special teams as well. Um, you know, we, we take pride in our special teams. Coach Chandler, uh, Ben Chandler is our special teams coordinator. He does such a great job at getting our guys prepared, you know, with the scheme. Uh, with practice and, and just all all of it throughout the week, um, just getting it ready for the for the game Friday night, and then you know we our special teams is pretty good. Um, you know, it's very rarely do we lose the special teams battle in a, in, in a against an opponent, and uh, you know it, it helps us in, in the other two phases well in offense and defense. Talking about offense, just a little bit more. We didn't. We had some technical difficulties this past week, and we didn't get the first quarter uh, on camera. Obviously, y'all probably have it on huddle and stuff, yeah. but we didn't get it on our side of things. But I want to talk about the first quarter just a little bit. Obviously, the offense came in out of nowhere, scoring in just a couple plays mm. on their first offensive drive. Let's talk about offense just a little bit in that first quarter. Yeah, uh, you know it. They elected to get the ball first, um, and our defense went out there and, and you know, had a good stop. Um, offense took the field and went out and just really executed really well. You know, we scripted the first few plays of the game, first five, and uh, offense went out there and, and really did a good job of executing the, the first five plays. I don't think we got through the whole five, but um, got out there, executed really well, played fast, um, and ultimately Kyle Reed called a pass for, out of the backfield for a touchdown. 
Um, defense went out, did a good job again, and just it just kind of poured on again from there. Throughout the whole game, you you mentioned Arkadelphia playing fast. It's really about yeah. fast, physical, and focused yes. football. And what I saw with the focused part was your defense. I mean, it's it's a little bit of a tricky offense. The dead T right. that Haskell Harmony Grove was running. Your linebackers, your defensive line, everyone's got to be paying attention to their keys. Yeah. Talk about how important that is for that defense. It's huge um, because it's so different from you know what we normally go against. Mm -hmm. um, it's such a downhill offense that. Um, you have got to bring some physicality with yeah. you. If you're not a physical group, if you're not a physical team, if you're not a physical defense, you're not physical on the defensive line. Uh, it can be very difficult uh, to get them off the field because you know if they're they're happy with living in three yard scenarios, and uh, you know that's one thing we've got to we've got to keep a team from taking pretty much three steps forwards, and you know that's that's where they want to live, and so. It takes a lot of physicality to meet and exceed that expectation. I thought our guys did really well at that uh, Friday night against Haskell. Yeah, to not let a dead T, dead T team get mm – -hmm. they want the three yards, the four yeah. yards every single play. Yeah. That's a win. That's a win. So, Arkadelphia being able to push them back even into their own backfield is huge. It okay? is. So, let's go ahead and hop in. We're going to hop in right here into the second quarter of highlights, and then we'll watch throughout the game. Uh, starting here on defense, talk about your defensive line, just how they really dominated the line of scrimmage this game. They really did. Uh, they trusted their keys. They fired off the football and did it all in a, you know, really, really quick fashion. Um, when you go against a team like this, you know, we're asking them to do certain things, um, but it's all happening so fast. I mean, when you're watching these plays take, you know, it, it's going downhill really, really quickly at them, but there's, you know, finer things within it, um, you know, Haskell will, will change some things here and there or can, or can change some things, mm -hmm. you know, to where, you know, they might be blocking the defense, a certain defense lineman one play, but then they're going to let him go and read him the next. And so it, it, and it all happens about the same time. And so you've got to react really, really fast. Uh, you got to be disciplined with, you know, your hand placement, where you're getting to, your hat placement, all the things on the defensive line. And then the backers and secondary behind it has got to fit really, really well. And so I thought our defense did a really good job of that. Coach, this last week was senior night for these guys. Talk about just the, your seniors, your offensive line. As we're looking at the offensive highlights, we're about to score right here. Talk about the guy scoring, everything. Yeah, yeah Jay Purefoy is the, the one that just scored that touchdown. He had uh, three big touchdowns on the night. had his best game of the season so far. Uh, he's just so explosive. He's a guy that's been around. Uh, you know, he was, he was able to get on the field a lot as a sophomore and obviously was a starter last year for us and this year. Um, just one of our most explosive players. Uh, anytime he's got the ball in his hands, it can be electric, and he was electric Friday night. Um, our front has done a really good job of dominating the line of scrimmage up to this point, especially once we got into conference play. Uh, I thought that our offensive line has really, you know, moved the defensive lineman off the line of scrimmage in the run game, and we've they've done a great job of, at protecting our quarterback. Coach, we got a turnover right here on defense. Talk about how huge the, the turnover battle game was won in this game for Arkadelphia. Mm -hmm. The special teams battle with getting a turnover with blocking a punt, getting a touchdown. Talk about how important the turnovers are to then create points on the board. It does. Uh, creating the turnovers, it creates momentum. It gives you an opportunity to score, which, you know, we blocked a punt, um, you know, and scored that. You know, we just saw the, our defense get the ball out and, and, and recover it. And so it gives the ball to, back to our offense. And so we're in, gives our offense good field position, gives our offense another opportunity to score. Um, we didn't have to go very far to do it. You know, we just had to go out and execute, I think it was five or six plays, and, and was able to get the ball in the end zone and get points on the board. So things can happen really quickly whenever you're creating turnovers. Uh, just putting points on the board quickly, creating good field position, creating momentum that is very hard to get back. Turnovers, creating explosives, creating then points on the board. So yeah. everything works towards the biggest goal, which is winning the football game That's by right. the end of the day. So the defense, the offense, the special teams really all came together for this game. Uh, and really, it was this game that I was watching more specifically, just it really did all come together in mm -hmm. all the phases of the game. So Yeah, all three of our phases are really working together right now, and that's when magic happens. Mm -hmm. uh, if we can keep that, uh, if we can stay away from the injury bug, uh, we're going to be really, really good. That's right. Staying away from injuries will be huge for, for next week and for the weeks to come as we get into playoffs in here in just a couple weeks. So all of these games are adding up to a bigger, to a bigger thing postseason. But obviously, as we keep saying, week to week, 
most important game because we're still in conference. That's right. We're still in conference and anything can happen. I mean, you've seen it across the country in mm -hmm. college game. Um, happens in high school as well. I mean, uh, you might go against a certain opponent and feel really good about it, but I mean, the game still got to be played on Friday night for us. And, That's right. Uh, we've got to be prepared and ready. Uh, you know, historically, our conference is one of the toughest conferences in 4A. Um, yeah. You know, we we know that we've got a target on our back. Uh, we've won the conference the past two years. Um, it's been a long time since we've been beaten by a conference opponent, and so we our kids know, our kids, our coaches, we know that we've got a target on our back. That we're going to get everybody's best shot every Friday night, um, whatever that is. And so uh, we just expect going into every single game that. We're ready for a four-quarter battle. Um, we're, our guy, I, I feel like our team is, is battle-tested. I know it's been a while since it's been that. Um, I feel like our guys are battle-tested and ready for it. And, uh, you know, we like the way things are going right now, obviously, but we know that uh, it's very hard to do over the course of a whole season to, to sustain what we've been doing the past few weeks. So we're ready for – we're always ready for a four-quarter battle. Coach, talk about some of your biggest takeaways from this game that you have learned, just the goods, what you're going to learn from this game as you, we go into to next week. Yeah, I thought, it, I thought it proved our physicality is really what I thought. Uh, I thought it showed our execution in the special teams. It uh, proved our physicality and just continue to get better on offense and, and our execution as a, as a whole unit. Um, you know, we talk about three phases, starting to play together really, really well. but. On offense, you know, we're starting to see uh, our whole offensive unit starting to click as well. And so that's, that's encouraging moving forward. Um, I thought our quarterback did a really good job. Uh, he's starting to really, you know, get comfortable at the position. The offensive line's getting him the time to stay comfortable, and the receivers, are, uh, receivers and running backs are doing a really good job at keeping the things positive, making the plays when it's time to make the play. That's right. Let's talk about a little bit of your – some of your receivers, obviously. Mm -hmm. They had a good game. They caught – couple passing touchdowns talk about some of those guys they made a lot of hard catches as well some over yeah. the shoulders some back shoulders so yeah. let's talk about the receivers guys. yeah uh, you know we've already talked about Jay Purefoy mm -hmm. uh, another senior on the in the wide receiver group is Braden Wagner yeah. um, you know he's he had a silent game the other night but he's he, he's big playability anytime yeah. um, but just they understand that you know not every Friday night they can be the one catching all the passes and um, scoring all the touchdowns but um, Braden's a really good teammate in that aspect, as they all are. Mm -hmm. um, you know, another one is juniors Maddox Finley and then Orion Roberts. Um, two really good players, Orion. We've seen him make some explosive plays also yeah. in the past. Uh, a couple weeks ago, Maddox had a big, big explosive play to start the game against Boxite. And so those guys are really starting to, to develop and, and translate what we do in practice to the field. And, you know, as they should. I mean, it's week eight now, but right. – um, you know, they're really selling in. Their confidence has really grown over the past few weeks, and uh, it's really encouraging and exciting to see how they developed. Talking about Wagner just a little bit more, you, it, it's got to be an encouragement whenever you start getting more guys covering you, and yeah. sometimes a double bracket may happen. And it happens. That just gives the other teammates some opportunities to score. And it does, and that's the hardest part is, you know, mm -hmm. figuring out teams are going to have a different idea on, you know, who they're trying to take away. And, right. and, you know, when you've got multiple receivers that have had big games and it's on film and, you know, they're trying to break us down on the offensive side, uh, they see this receiver's, you know, like Jay this past week has got three touchdowns. You know, mm -hmm. a couple weeks ago Ryan had three, right. two or three, and then, um, you know, Braden Wagner's had a couple big games also with two or three scores. I mean. It, it, it makes things tough for a defense. We want to be dynamic. Um, you know, we're 50-50 run pass. Um, you know, over the course of the season, we, we, are, we are still hitting that 50-50 mark. Um, and then within that 50% of the pass, you know, we spread it around quite a bit. Um, you know, one game it might be Jay catching five or six passes. It might be the next one. It might be Orion or Maddox or, you know, it, we, we do a really good job distributing the ball around and, and attacking, um, attacking the defense uh, the way they're lining up as opposed to just trying to force feed right. certain people the ball. Yeah, and that's very different from a lot of programs yeah. in the state, really the country. Usually you see some programs targeting one or two guys in yeah. their system. Arkadelphia has a ton of guys that they can get the ball to. Right. So that's special and that's very important for the next game and the games to come. So It is, huge. and, and that's, we're very fortunate that we've, we've got the type of players <laughs> that we feel like are good enough to – 
handle any kind of situation like that. Um, now we do have situations where we are trying to get certain people the ball, but mm -hmm. um, pretty much it's going to be based off of alignments, what we're looking for. Right. Well, let's go ahead and hop into the players of the week. And we for offense this week, we have Jay Purifoy. Let's talk about Jay. Yeah, Jay, Jay Purifoy had his biggest night uh, on senior night. Offense player of the week, three, scored three touchdowns, 90-something yards receiving on six catches. Um, just to, had an explosive night overall. He's done a great job all season long, and uh, he was able to get the ball in the end zone multiple times. It was a big night for him. Yeah, I'm excited to see what he does for the rest of the yeah. season as well. So he had a huge game. Like, he did. That was that was an amazing game. So defensive player of the week, Malachi. Let's yeah. talk about Malachi. Defensive player of the week is junior middle linebacker Malachi Hamilton. Uh, was one of our leading tacklers. Just had a huge night overall uh, going against a, a tough offense that's going to run straight at him. Uh, he met the challenge and, and rose to the occasion. And, you know, he's a big reason why they, we were able to get him off the field. Uh, pretty much the whole night. And so, you know, he's also Jay's, old, Jay's younger brother. So those two are brothers, but um, pretty cool that, that those guys got this, you know, recognition on the same week. That's awesome. It's awesome, cool to see family come together yeah. and really work together for a team. So that's cool. Absolutely. Special teams player of the week. Let's talk about him. Yeah, uh, Quintavion Morris, um, you know, we've mentioned him in the past couple weeks. Um, you know, he's our special teams player of the week this week. Uh, our, our Kickoff unit was on the field quite a bit Friday night. Uh, he did a great job of getting down and, and covering down, making tackles on our kickoff unit. He's also on our field goal, our PAT field goal unit. He's one of the wings and uh, does a really good job of blocking on that also. Yeah. All right, well, let's head on into the Badger Spirit Award winner. Let's talk yeah. about Nate. So Nate Alexander is our Badger Spirit Award winner this week. He's a senior wide receiver. Uh, he's one of those guys that uh, just goes above and beyond to, to do whatever it takes to be a team player. And he's always putting the team first, shows up with a positive attitude, works his tail off, uh, does a great job giving us looks on our scout teams. Um, just one of those guys that, man, you can't say enough about him. Mm -hmm. Just so excited uh, he was able to get this award this week. It's special to have those guys on your team. No just doubt. To, that's great, love it. Let's talk a while, uh, whoa, sorry. Let's talk about the results from this past week in the conference. Our, obviously we had Arkadelphia 49 uh, versus Haskell Harmony Grove 17. Malvern versus Boxite 52 to 27, Nashville 53, Ashdown 18, and Fountain Lake 42 at Genoa Central 12. As the conference kind of stands right now, we have Arkadelphia and Ma Ar whoa, whoa, words are kind of messing up, Coach. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Arkadelphia and Malvern are sitting up there towards the top, uh, kind of tied for first ish in the conference. Uh, different uh, pre-conference little schedule there. Uh, we see Nashville, Ashdown, Boxsite right below them, and then towards your Tier 5 and Tier 7, Genoa Central Fountain Lake and Haskell Harmony Grove. And let's look at this next week of football. So we have Boxsite at Genoa Central, Haskell Harmony Grove at Nashville, Fountain Lake at Malvern, and obviously the game we are going to be looking at, and we are kind of just, we're ready for it, it's Friday, Arkadelphia at Ashdown, Coach. is going to be a fun game. Historically, I know Ashdown's had a good team. Let's talk about Ashdown a little bit, Coach. Yeah, you know, Ashdown's one of those teams that in the past they've uh, given us some of the most fits defensively. They're, mm -hmm. they're sound defense. Uh, they fly to the football. They tackle really well. And, uh, you know, it's always an exciting game whenever we get together. Um, you know, we've had some good victories against them. But, um, you know, it's a new year. and We've got to be prepared just like any other week. And, uh, you know, they've got a new coach over there and they're, you know, he's establishing himself over there as the, as the head coach and the guy. And, uh, you know, they're, it's going to be at their place. And so anytime that um, we're on the road, we've got, we know that we've got to play well. Uh, good teams play, on the, play well on the road and that's what we've got to prove Friday night. That's right. Playing on the road, another conference game, uh, hoping for another victory. Obviously, yeah. this week of practice is going to be huge, getting ready for another team. Uh, talk about how this week at practice is going to look, just getting ready for another conference. Yeah, game. it's it's same as normal. We, we keep things business as usual. Um, you know, we try to be as consistent as possible. Monday is our learning day. Um, Tuesday is going to be our work day where we're, we're actually working on everything that we install for that week. Uh, Wednesday is going to be like our polish day where we're still – it, it looks a lot similar to a work day, but um, should be a lot more polished. And then Thursday is perfect Thursday where everything should be uh, perfect. There shouldn't be any mistakes. And then Friday's game day. 
That's right. Well, we're, we're itching towards game yeah. day. Obviously, got to get through this week of practice. But I'm excited. I'm excited to watch the Badgers versus Ashdown this Friday night in Ashdown. So it's going to be fun. If you can't join us in person, go ahead and watch on ArkadelphiaBadgerTV.com. Come listen to Dr. Root and I as we talk about Badger football on Friday and as we cheer on the Badgers. So I think that's it. I think that's yeah. all we got for this week. So y'all hop on next week as we will talk about the Ashdown game, looking towards uh, the next couple games in conference in the postseason. Uh, once again, if you can't make it this Friday, Arkadelphia Badger TV will have the game at 7 o'clock. Until then, Go we'll see Badgers. you next time. Go Badgers. Inside Badger Football is brought to you by Bell Wealth Services, Welch Funeral Home, Wingfield Properties, Southern Bancorp, Southwest Sporting Goods, Turner, Rogers, Manning, and Plyler, Taylor King Law, Trinity Temple Assembly of God, Doctors Rob and Gary Rucker, Eccles, Thompson, and Kneebone CPA, South Central Connect, Java Premium, Southwest Auto Group, R and T Dixon Enterprises, Ludwig's Bakery, the Law Offices of Gina White, Patterson Federal Credit Union, Batson Signs, Print Mania, Scott Bird DDS, Sexton Law Firm, Chad Kesterson Shelter Insurance, Chicken Express, Pediatrics Plus, and Providence Veterinary Care. Inside Badger Football is produced weekly by the Rogers Department of Communications at Washita Baptist University and the Washita Sports Digital Network. 